Uh, let's we'll take we'll get rid of these poison counters. That's not going to come up in this matchup between Abzan and Nightfall. That's for sure. Uh, Sebastian's name is too big. We'll just take out that the Ashton part and leave it as Seb. There we go. <laughs> uh, Forcefall HD as well. Thank you for following the channel. Just in time for our finals, man. I'll send you a 10% uh, off discount code as well. Thank you very much. Uh, so Sebastian starting things off the way he wants. Uh, turn one, Temple Garden into a Noble Hierarch off of his Flooded Strand. So he's going to fall to 17 to start it off, but uh, has what he wants. And yes, De Blondie, I also like Sebastian's playmat. I think it is awesome looking. So starts. Kyle has his uh, good start as well in the form of Thoughtseize. He's going to take here uh, his choice between Quisalti Pride Mage, Knight of the Reliquary, Selfless Spirit, and Birds of Paradise. Um, so for anyone maybe not familiar with the deck itself, uh, this is the main card. Uh, I believe it does Talric. Uh, I don't think there's any limitation on what it actually discounts. Uh, Tim, you weren't here to rep it, man. So you couldn't, you know, it, we could, we couldn't get into the finals. I'm sorry. You should have been here. <laughs> um, so this is the card that Sebastian's deck revolves around that of the other that along with Rashid to Coral Helm, uh, lets him get all the lands out of his deck, uh, pretty much. And then attack with a giant knight. Uh, Kyle falls to 18. Thanks for that thought seize. Uh, Talric, yes it does as long as the order is $10 or more, I have been told. So I'm going to get Tim a sword? Do we trust him with swords? I don't think we trust him with swords. Uh, Sebastian's follow-up for turn two is a Plains, off of a Flooded Strand again, into uh, Selfless Spirit and Birds of Paradise. So a good, good little follow-up there. <laughs> Sir Lawn Gnome 23, awesome name. Thank you for following the channel. We appreciate that. We'll get you your 10% off discount code to top8gaming.com. All right, I'm going to give Tim a sword, but I don't feel safe about this. Just as I want it to be known. Yeah, I guess it's true. If we gave Cody a sword and Hunter a sword, it's probably not good. Uh, Dark Confidant, turn two here for Kyle. That's a... Oh, Sebastian just says no. No, sir. You can have a land instead. Path to Exile takes care of that. Quasali Pride Mage coming in. This is an attack for four with this uh, Selfless Spirit thing. So those two... Uh, uh, wow, I can't forget the name now. Uh, Exalted Triggers. There we go. Sir Londom, I appreciate it. Uh, how do you enter the codes? Uh, let me, uh, let me get confirmation for you, Chilith. Uh, maybe my mod can let me know how they can use the code online. I'll be honest, I never actually use them myself. I do follow the channel, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so a third land here for Kyle, uh, thanks to the path, and he's going to follow it up with a stirring Wildwood for his fourth. There you go. Codes are entered at checkout. So there is your answer. There's no place for you to do so. Hmm. Uh, Liliana the Veil here is the turn three play. Ticks up. Kyle turns out what he wants to discard. Uh, Sebastian decides I'll discard a windswept teeth. Kyle chooses Marsh Flats. Are you on mobile, Chileth? That's uh, a question that's been asked here by uh, our, one of our employees. Or are you on computer, like on a, on a PC or uh, some sort of laptop like device? Another attack for four from Sebastian is going to drop Kyle, I believe, to nine, if I'm not mistaken here. 
Okay, weird. Let us let us know if it keeps happening, and we we can look into it for you for sure. Oh, we killed Liliana. That makes sense too. We'll uh, I'll, we'll look into that to make sure for you, Chilith. I want to make sure it works for you. Otherwise, it makes no point to offer that promotion. <laughs> we'll get it figured out though for you. But thank you for the heads up. Uh, so Kyle, fifth land in the form of Marsh Flats. Deciding what he wants to do here. He does have the ab ability to now turn on Wildwood to block Selfless Spirit. He decides against it though and plays Lingering Souls instead. Uh, collected Company is the response here from Sebastian. And we'll see if he can find the reason why he did it in a response. Uh, he does play Spell Queller in his deck. I don't see it in his top six here, unfortunately. There is another Reliquary, which is important. That's going to be uh, a definite choice here. Alongside Voice of Resurgence. So this Knight of the Reliquary is currently a 5-5, five five, thanks to the Lands and Graveyard. Two Spirits are resolved here for Kyle. He's going to go ahead and crack this fetch land. He might just be flashing back his Lingering Souls here to get two more spirits. Yeah, he's a 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> uh, Kyle does shock himself to get this land, so he does uh, fall to 10. Does have now four spirits in play to block uh the selfless spirit in particular uh but i don't think sebastian cares about attack with that anymore he says i'll attack with these selfless spirit uh standard card standard set card of course however has has been shown up in a lot of modern decks now uh the ability to sacrifice and make all your creatures indestructible until end of turn is pretty good turns out especially when you get to attack like this and uh you know, if he tries to go blow a block, blah, block, just blow it out. So I, I can't imagine Kyle goes for that line. At that point, you're trading four spirits for your selfless spirit, which I don't think is a good trade at all. Let's see. Out of curiosity, how many, how many selfless spirits is Sebastian playing in his deck? He is playing two. All right. Uh, is he maining it today? I don't know if he is. Um, uh, he is not main decking Damnation today, uh, Cody. So that selfless spirit uh, is it's still insane, but not as insane as it could be. Uh, this is Sebastian's other option. He can just decide, let the spirit live. I'm okay with this. And yeah, he decides that's his option. So uh, The elemental did get to come into play. What happened? Okay, it didn't die apparently. All right. Ah, now he in response, he tutored up the township in this case it looks like uh, another another lingering souls uh, cast and flashback so Kyle's putting up a good defense here but uh, Sebastian's putting up a better offense uh, he only had one blocker on the voice okay so he wanted to go he wanted to kill pride mage really bad apparently all right so uh, another activation of Gavany Township. I think Kyle knows the end is near. Noble Hierarch does not get the job done. He is able to set up... He has four blockers next turn. So he's not dead. Maelstrom Pulse the Knight. Okay, sure. Okay, he's he's definitely not dead, but uh, he's not in a good spot here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Bear psychologist. Yeah, they're a little different. <laughs> Okay, so Kyle untaps here, staring down an army of creatures. Liliana, the last hope. Uh, that's that's not doing much here, unfortunately. Did he overpay for her? Why did he pay four? Why did he pay four for this? I don't understand. Okay, I like the line. Tick up Liliana targeting my noble hierarch. Sure. <laughs> uh, these these two players, uh, good friends. Uh, I think Kyle is just aware that this game is over. Uh, has decided to uh, to kill his own stuff. I like it. So Sebastian takes game one uh, pretty cleanly. Uh, if we go back to our sideboards here, let's see what we have here. So Kyle does get to bring in a Damnation out of his sideboard. He, do, he does not have any main deck today. Um, Spell Skite could be okay if he wants to try to eat Paths, but I don't think it's a big, a, a big deal. Uh, Nihil Spell Bomb is good for him. Graft Digger's Cage could be okay, uh, is good for uh, cancel Coco or uh, yeah Coco. Surgical Extraction maybe you can take out a combo piece if you really want to. Uh, let's see, Sebastian has he probably wants Staticaster uh, because that will let him deal with all the spirit tokens. He has three of those in his sideboard. Is it Staticaster? Um, Negate is a possibility. Kitchen Finks is probably okay still, just for more sticky creatures that are just hard to get rid of. Yeah. Uh, I, I... This, is, this is a close one, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see who's able to bounce back from this one. If, uh, well, if Kyle can bounce back or if Sebastian just takes it down 2 over here. All right, opponents or players are shuffling up here for game two. Uh, Kyle will have the play here, so we'll have to see if he can uh, manage something off the play. So just while we are uh, waiting here for this game two to start, uh, I want to thank everyone again for coming out to watch today. It's uh, it's been an awesome day. Um, I think it's, I'm pretty sure this is our biggest stream we've had so far, so that's that's sweet. Uh, thank all the followers that we had today that uh, joined us, or the ones that uh, are, are new to us, of course. Um, to give everyone an idea, maybe who's who's not uh, who's new here, uh, we stream every Wednesday and every Friday at 6:30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we do four round tournaments where we get uh, modern and standard players. We have typically one round of standard, three rounds of modern. Uh, once the new set comes out, we might change that uh, over to uh, over to a couple rounds of standard instead. But uh, if the chat wants more of something, we, we're always willing to do that. Not a problem at all. Billy the Kid. You can't, like, can't drag me down, man. 
Um, we also will always stream our bigger tournaments like this. Our GPTs will stream. Uh, our PBTQs will stream. Uh, on January 28th, for that matter, we have a sealed PPTQ. Uh, so that, what is, what's the 28th? I don't even know. That's, that's, a, that's a Saturday. So a uh, few weeks away, we have our sealed PPTQ uh, with Aether Revolt and, and uh, Kaladesh. So join us for that if you're free. Even if you're not, join us for that. Just turn on your computer and walk away. That works for us. But, uh, but yeah, it's been a great day today, guys. So, again, I want to thank everyone for coming out and joining me. It's been awesome. Um, and let's, uh, let's see if we can get a conclusion to our finals here or not. Uh, Kyle is starting it off by mulligan to six, so a little rough there. Sebastian looks to have kept his seven. Is that release weekend? No, it's the weekend after. Next weekend is release weekend. And then the week after that, we have our PBTQ coming up. Yeah. Because, yeah, this weekend is the pre-release. Which, if you guys are local or want to drive out to Niagara Falls, we have uh, a midnight pre-release Friday. Then we have two on Saturday, two on Sunday, I believe. That's usually what our format is for it. Yeah, so then that's, that's this weekend. Then next week we have our release, of course. And then the week after that is our PBTQ. Uh, all right, so Kyle taking a look here at his six. Keeps his six, scries, looks to keep it on the top, I think. Uh, I believe that's, yeah, that, that's his one main board copy of Engineer Explosives in hand. He did bring in Surgical Extraction. Well, if you're ever in the area again, chocolate pain, come and visit us. We're just on the other side of that border, right in Niagara Falls. We're like probably like a five minute drive from the border. Not very far at all. It's awesome. Uh, so here we have Kyle starting it off with a Marsh Flats. And I believe it's going to turn into an Inquisition. <laughs> Uh, so I think I think Kyle has here Inquisition into Surgical Extraction if it's a, if it's a target that's good enough for him to take. Yep, there is a sealed GP this year in Toronto. So he can take he can take the knight and that turns off Sebastian's combo for this game for sure. He can take the path and take the other one out of his hand as well. Uh I don't think you care to take scavenging ooze or voice of resurgence here. I think your big choices are knight or path. Path only because it gets to take a second card out of his hand. And knight because it turns off his combo for the rest of the game. Yeah, that's, that's my thought, but I'm not too sure if he wants to do that. Uh, I don't know if there's Buffalo or not. I'm not sure, Billy the Kid. Okay, so it looks like... Okay, in the draw step... Oh, I like it. Oh, he didn't find one. Darn. All right. <laughs> so Kyle's going to get to have a look at uh, Sebastian's deck to see uh, what he's working with here. Gets to also take away all of these Knights of the Reliquary. <laughs> so that's two Knights, two more to go. If Sebastian left them all in. Yep, 
and there's all four knights gone, so. Tim, I feel you're in like the minority here with that kind of comment, man. Oh, I, I agree that, yes, dealing with the knights is, is probably his best line there. Um, it, it takes care of one of Sebastian's best late game plans, and it also just takes care of four good creatures. Apparently, Tim likes the Bills, so there you go. <laughs> uh, so, Verdant Catacombs comes down for Kyle here as his second land. I like how it's the best tailgate, but nothing to say about the team itself. <laughs> uh, so a Grim Flare here is the play. Uh... And it is one away from Delirium being active. There is the standard all-star Grim Flare. I mean, maybe not an all-star anymore. Not sure, to be honest. But there is the Grim Flare. Uh, Sebastian fetched out a hollowed fountain tapped and then just played a, a windswept teeth for his turn and then passed it right back to Kyle. So Kyle, if Sebastian has nothing here, uh, yeah, yeah, we knew about that. So, um, path to exile takes care of the grim flare. V guard. There is the option as it does take two cards from Sebastian's hand. However, <clears throat> uh, the knight just does so much more. Uh, so a second Grim Flare comes down here for Kyle. Still one away from Delirium, of course. Uh, Sebastian fetches out a Temple Garden. This is probably being met by the second path to exile as well. So Kyle is clearly on the ramp plan this game. Yep. Second path to exile... I mean, yeah, it's also possible. I guess, I, I, I guess, so I, I guess Kyle, knowing he has two Grim Flayers, probably should take the paths. I did not know he had two Grim Flayers, to be fair. So, I mean, I didn't know that was a thing, but. Yeah, I mean, now it's a better choice because we know he had double Grim Flayer in hand to go with them. Uh, so Voice of Resurgence comes down for Sebastian on his turn four, I believe that was. Turn three, I think, actually. Oh, I assume it does find an answer to Knight, yes. It's also possibly top deck both of them, sure. Kyle checking off his list, knowing uh, exactly what he he can still know in uh, Sebastian's hand. There's no combo option. He thinks he's better late game taking that is fine. Yeah, I, I mean, I, again, I think. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Kyle deciding what he wants to do here. He's had his mana accelerated a little bit. Uh, Fulminator Mage. So that's been brought in from the sideboard, I believe. Interesting choice. He cuts Sebastian off a of green, though, for the time being. Not anymore, though. Sebastian has green again. Uh, an attack for two comes across. Kyle's going to fall to 14, it looks like. And then a selfless spirit comes down. So 
any future damnation by Kyle at this moment has no real hope of resolving or at least doing any damage. Uh, so he actually falls to 12. Uh, didn't get that life total updated there. Uh, so here we see Engineer Explosives being cast for two. Uh, this will only deal with the uh, Selfless Spirit in this case. It would, it would typically blow up that Voice of Resurgence, but Selfless Spirit will counter that. <laughs> Uh, so Sebastian plays out his one of copy of Keswick Wolf Run, uh, and then he just plays a, 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 a scavenging ooze. Can't say that word apparently. I don't know why. Uh, into the explosives, but of course that uh, Kyle does pop the explosives, but is met by a sacrifice selfless spirit. So no no real uh, harm there. All right, there's the Keswick Wolf run. Nope, that's a Keswick Wolf. Close, but there's the run. All right, so uh, a scavenging ooze comes down. So now we have fighting scavenging oozes. Kyle wins that. He only he has much more green mana than Sebastian does, who currently only has one. Uh, he could have drawn a Collective Company, which would be pretty great. There's the Noble Hierarch. I think Kyle only has one card in hand right now. Another copy of Scavenging Ooze off this Collective Company, as well as a Corsair of Crewfix. Corsair gets in to put a Gavin into play. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And a Spell Queller on top to fight any sort of board wipe, possibly next turn. The turn after, at least. Uh, let's see, three mana for Kitchen Finks instead. Doesn't want to activate uh, Gavin this turn. Dismembers the Scavenging Ooze, paying four life to do it. Kyle can respond. I think he can get out of range, can't he? No, looks like not. He's going to eat Surgical and Energy Explosives. I, I think Kyle's at a point again where he's decided that he's he's probably done for. Uh, I mean, eating the the artifact and the instant. All right. Uh, so here's an attack for two, four, six, eight. Yeah, Kitchen Finks plus Gavin. He's also really good, as Hunter's pointed out here. Kyle just takes the eight damage, falls to four. Has one draw. Even something like a Damnation here wouldn't do it. Because uh, it would leave Sebastian with a 2-1 and a 2-2 Elemental. Which is still exactly lethal. Okay, Lingering Souls blocks. Uh, is he going to flash it back as well? Yes, he is. So there is the other half of Lingering Souls. And he attacks for one. <laughs> yeah, I think this is... Uh, I think this is Kyle signifying that it's, it's over. <laughs> Again, these guys are good friends. Just having fun at this point. So always good to see. Sebastian quickly untaps, then retaps all his creatures. Uh, 
Okay, so this way he's not dead. Yep, turns on Gavini, puts Kyle to one from the attack for three. Is he not at one? Didn't he take three? Kyle draws for the turn. Yeah, Kyle's at one. So this looks to be a game here. Plays a Marsh Flats. Oh, has the way to go out on his own terms, though. I like it. Tarmogoyf. Flooded train off the top. And that's the game there. So Sebastian is going to win this. Yeah, Sebastian is winning this here. So congratulations to Sebastian. Takes down our GPT San Jose Modern Tournament with Bant Nightfall.